Hello, everybody out there in Facebook land and everywhere else. Welcome to the online meetup for today. This is going fit bit by bit's first broadcast, and I'm so happy to have you all here today. Uh, let me just make sure that we have everything here going online the way we should be. Uh, let me see here, make, make sure I have my Ring Central settings all set to the right settings. I'm unmuting, I'm starting video. Here we go, excellent. All right, we all seem ready to go. Okay, and we're sharing the screen as well. Okay, terrific folks. So, ah, oh, good to see you, Brian Farley, so glad to have you. Gonna be moving here over to my better screen, terrific. Great, glad to have you all. All right, so today, here's what we wanted to do. Welcome to going fit bit by bit. I wanted to explain a little bit about what we're doing online. Um, glad to have everybody here for our meetup uh, and tell you uh, a little bit about goal setting, using your new Fitbits. A lot of people out there have them today. And by the way, we are giving away a Fitbit um, just in time for uh, uh, Christmas. Um, you will not be getting it for the holiday, uh, December 25th, um, but uh, everybody who joins any of our online meetups <clears throat> over the next two weeks, okay? So join the online meetup over the next two weeks. Go out to goingfitbitbybit.com, register. All you have to do is register. It's free, okay? And you will be entered. Uh, to win one of two Fitbits, okay? And I'll be giving away those two Fitbits over the next two weeks. We'll pull the name, send those Fitbits right out to you. Should have them no later than January 5th, January 8th, something like that. Um, you get the free Fitbit in the mail, okay? Uh, and we'll be having these online meetups um, this week, next week, so on and so forth. Uh, what are we having online meetups for? This is what we're having them for. Everybody wants to get a little bit healthier, uh, a little bit happier, uh, get their steps in, uh, meet all of their fitness goals. And notice I didn't say weight goals. And here's why I didn't say weight goals. Because some of us want to lose a little weight, uh, and some of us just want to get healthier and happier for other reasons. Uh, so let me just tell you a little bit about what happened to me and a little bit about what I did. Uh, and by the way, please, if you have specific questions that you'd like me to answer, just go ahead and write a comment down in the comment section, and I will be happy to answer your specific questions. I have no issue with that oops, whatsoever, okay? If you have a specific comment or question, please let me know, and I will be happy to answer it. Um, uh, yes, let me, I need to get, uh, if, 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 by the way, um, if, by the way, you have any trouble whatsoever, uh, uh, seeing uh, what's happening here on my screen, also let me know. Um, to tell you a little bit about what happened with me, um, I uh, uh, went on a, a very quick journey. Um, my wife was battling cancer for the second time around. Um, she had triple negative breast cancer, and uh, she forced me. She forced me in uh, June of. Um, uh, 2016, June 30th, to go out for a walk. I couldn't uh, say no to her any longer. Um, I went out on that uh, walk with her, uh, and it was horrible. It was absolutely awful. I was like six yards behind her the entire time, walking down through the town of Ramsey, and uh, I knew that my health was in pretty poor shape. So what I did was I'd heard about Fitbit, never had one before at all. I went out. And I bought one. I also bought the Aria Scale. That works on the Wi-Fi network. And if anybody has questions about that, I'd be happy to answer them. You can uh, see this broadcast on Facebook as well as on Ring Central. If anybody's having any uh, issues with that, please go out to Facebook or Ring Central. You should be able to uh, uh, get in touch with me. Um, and that's why we're doing this today. Um, this is a free online meetup. Um, so we're kind of working out any of our issues. 
Uh, but anyway, I did the walk with my wife. I went out and bought my Fitbit and my RA scale. And um, one of the first things that my Fitbit uh, asked me to do when I started to set it up is it asked me to set a goal. So uh, I was currently 330 pounds. I set a goal of having a thousand calorie deficit a day in my Fitbit. And I set the goal of being, you ready for this? 150 pounds. All right, I know, it sounds kind of ridiculous, but that's what I set my goal as, of being 150 pounds. And uh, I'm not there yet. Uh, as of today, I weigh 180 pounds. I've lost 150, I have lost 150 pounds, but I don't yet weigh 150 pounds. And I'm not sure I will ever weigh quite 150 pounds, and I'll explain why in a minute. But um, I have lost 150 pounds, and it's been uh, quite a journey and quite an adventure. Again, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them here on uh, Facebook or elsewhere. Um, I will be happy to answer them. I'm also on Ring Central. Uh, and for those of you who have just joined, we're giving away free Fitbits, two of them, uh, to anybody who joins our meetings. Uh, uh, these are the online meetups uh, over the next two weeks. Um, in order to win them, if you will, uh, in order to be eligible to win them, uh, from these online meetups, you need to go out to Going Fit bit by bit and register. Uh, that way, we have your information and your uh, email address uh, over the next two weeks, okay, and attend the online meetup, okay? If you do that, uh, you're eligible to win one of two Fitbits, um, and uh, you'll have them, uh, uh, right, you'll have them before January 15th. So, you'll have them before the Super Bowl. Uh, I think the Super Bowl is before, uh, after January 15th. So anyway, you'll, you'll have them uh, by January 15th. Um, so anyway, I, I set that goal for myself to be 150 pounds. Um, I can tell you that immediately when I started uh, in on my adventure, um, that uh, I lost a lot of weight right away in the first uh, week or two. Uh, I was 330 pounds. Um, so just a little bit of calorie restriction went a long way. Uh, it really did go a long way. Uh, and I must have lost, and I'll be happy to post uh, what it looked like on my phone, uh, but I must have lost, uh, you know, 10, 15 pounds within that first uh, week or two right away. Um, it was a difficult year, 2016. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, in 2016, um, my father, the Irishman, he uh, died on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, when we got back from the funeral, after I eulogized him, my wife uh, told me, um, that she felt um, the cancer in her, well, she said she felt uh, lumps again in her breasts, right where she had had cancer before. Uh, we discovered right away that she had cancer again. And, uh, and then, of course, that's what led to the chemo, and then that's what led to the walk, if you will, that led me to lose weight again. And then um, after I started losing weight, set the goals and started losing weight, um, then um, her father, Mike, uh, the Sicilian, um, started suffering some um, stro uh, strokes, and um, the Sicilian, the Italian, Mike, um, he ended up dying on uh, Columbus Day. So the Irishman died on St. Patrick's Day, and the Italian died on Columbus Day, all in 2016. Pretty rough year. But I had started in on my own journey, and... Uh, Thank God, thankfully, um, Gina's uh, surgeries and chemo went very well. Um, she's cancer-free, uh, God bless, and uh, doing much better. Um, and But by uh, Thanksgiving, uh, after my father's death, uh, her death, uh, and then just the holidays in general, and I don't know about you guys, but I also suffer a little bit from uh, seasonal affective disorder, but uh, things have gone kind of rough. Uh, but anyhow. Uh, back to the story. So, um, and not just the story, but also for you all. Um, my uh, my strong recommendation, and you can see my Ionicon right here. Um, if you don't have the Fitbit already, uh, my recommendation is go out and get the Fitbit. Okay, uh, regardless of what model it is, I, I don't think that matters uh, much. I like a Fitbit that has the built-in GPS, uh, like the Ionic or the Surges. Okay. Um, but whichever model you get is fine, but you get the Fitbit, um, you, you log in and you get it sunk up with your smartphone, which, uh, I have right here. Okay. And then, um, once you have it sunk up with your, uh, smartphone, um, it's going to ask you to set your goals. 
Um, how aggressively are you interested in losing weight? Okay, and weight is important. Um, but also, it's not just about steps. It's not just about weight. It's about the entire ecosystem um, and all the applications uh, within the Fitbit, okay? Um, oh gosh, I meant to start recording this right, right from the beginning. That's, so see, there I screwed up. But, um, and what I mean by that is, you know, on days, on days when weight wasn't going so well, um, I was also focusing on how much water I took in. Uh, on days uh, when um, steps weren't going so well, I was also focused in on the fact that, hey, I exercised that day and I could take that into account. Uh, on days that I didn't meet my exercise goal, excuse me, I could focus in on uh, the fact that, uh, but I met my sleep goal for that day. And I really truly believe now that I've been through this whole journey, uh, there's a reason that uh, we have all of these different applets within the Fitbit uh, app. All of these different things are contributing to uh, wellness and fitness. Um, do not be lulled into just focusing on weight and steps. It is important to focus on the water, on the exercise, on the activity and hours of activity throughout the day, on every different piece of the Fitbit. All, every single piece of that is important and key um, to your success. So please um, be certain to focus in on all of that. Uh, that is all uh, critical to the success of what you're doing. Okay, um, so you have your Fitbit, you've set your goal, you have all of the apps, okay? Uh, this next part is, is very important, and that is make sure that you are putting in all of your food uh, every day, okay? Uh, now, at first, this might seem a little difficult um, because you're entering in your food that you're putting in every day, and at first, uh, it seems a little complicated because, uh, you know, you go and eat at uh, the, the, that same salad bar place every day, and, you know, it's not a chain. Uh, it's a one-off salad bar place. Don't become too hung up on the fact that it's, uh, you know, uh, Shamesh's uh, Salad Emporium, and Shamesh's Salad Emporium is not in the Fitbit. Um, and the fact that you make yourself a uh, delicious uh, Caesar salad or Italian salad there every day. Um, don't, don't get too hung up on, on, on the, the very specific details of that salad that you make every day or of that sandwich that you make every day. When you go into the Fitbit and you put in your food, um, just 80-20 is an important rule, right? So just get in there and, and make sure you've got it 80-20, right? When I go out to a restaurant and I have a Caesar salad, I get in there Caesar salad and if it's a big one, I make sure I choose a big one from the Fitbit. If it's a small one, I make sure I choose a small one. And then I move on with my life. There are a million Caesar salads in there. I'm not sweating it whether I pick the one that was 500 calories or 650 calories, or whether I pick the one that was six, 425 or, or 510, right? Okay, so in other words, don't get hung up on, on the specific number of calories, okay? Just 80-20 and move on right? We're trying to get these general ideas as we're, as we're putting our cash. But it is very important that everything that goes in, we get onto our, our phone. And the reason for that is because you're going to wear your Fitbit 24-7. The Fitbit becomes the feedback mechanism as it measures your metabolic rate. It's going to be measuring how many calories you're burning throughout the day. And this is what's so important. It's measuring how much you're burning, right? So as you're entering things in, in terms of what you're eating throughout the day, and don't wait till the end of the day, put them in as you're eating, right? It's giving you that great green light, red light, right? Green light, okay, it's fine. You can have something else. Oh, maybe I'll have some cottage cheese. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll have a cookie at the end of this meal. Yeah, I eat cookies. I eat Hershey's Kisses. I eat some foods that you would not consider right? And that's, that's the beauty of this, right? I'm not on a diet. This is how I live my life now. I eat everything. I eat Thanksgiving dinner. I eat Christmas dinner. I drink beer. I, I eat everything. And yet I've lost 150 pounds and I'm losing more. It's fantastic, right? 
Uh, and people say, well, what, what are you going to do when you finish? What finish? I'm not, what do you mean finish? What, is there a reason that I can't wear the Fitbit the rest of my life? People wear Rolexes the rest of their life. I can wear a Fitbit the rest of my life. Is there a reason that I can't put the food into my phone the rest of my life? It's not a big deal. I, I just came from a nice hockey uh, lunch and, and the food's in. I, why, can't I, why can't I put the, my food in my phone? It's not a problem. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. But, um, you know, uh, there, there's no reason I can't do these things. Again, if you have any specific questions, please feel free to ask them. I, I'm happy to, uh, to answer anything specific. But so, so, after, so after, you put, after you put your goals in, it's important. But make sure that you're wearing this 24 seven. Okay. Wear this 24 seven, right? Because it's giving you the metabolic feedback, right? You're entering your food in. Okay. As you eat it, it's giving you the green light. It's giving you the red light. You get the red light. Ooh, okay. Uh, I, I plan to, I don't know. Uh, I plan to have this protein bar after I had my sandwich. Uh, I have the red light. All right. Uh, maybe I'll wait till my afternoon snack time. Maybe I'll wait till dinner. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe I'm not going to have this protein bar now. Maybe I'll go out and walk around the block twice because I see I'm only at 3,000 steps right now. My step goal for the day is 10,000 steps, or my step goal is 8,000 steps, or my step goal is 12,000 steps, right? Um, in other words, the, this, is what, this is the brilliance behind this, right? The Fitbit is constantly giving you this, this feedback, constantly, constantly. And so it's making you think, ah, Maybe I should up this. Maybe I should up that. Maybe I should be more active here. Maybe I should be more active there. And that's really what's changed so much in my life, right? Um, when I go to the mall, I could care less about those spots close to the stores. You know why? I'm parking way the heck over here. I want that spot that's furthest away from everybody. That's where I want to park, right? Why? Because that's going to give me another 800 steps to the stores and then another 800 steps back from the stores. Oh, you guys don't go to the mall anymore? It's all Amazon and Zulily for you? No problem. When Zulily doesn't deliver right at my house and I have to go to the UPS store, I park across the street and down the road, right? I go ahead and get, you know, an extra half a mile walk in. That's an extra thousand steps for me. So, you know, these, these are the good things and the good habits now that I do. Um, I remember my client was the New York City Department of Education when I started. And that building was an old building down in Long Island City. And that old building down in Long Island City um, had 12, 12, 12 uh, 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 floors. And those 12 floors, each floor is a warehouse. Each floor had like three sets of stairs to get up it, man. So I climbed those three sets of stairs and I would walk up and I'd walk up and I'd walk. Oh my God, I got to like the fourth floor and there I am. <laughs> but don't give up. Don't give up. Persistence is the key, right? Don't give up. Persistence is the key. And I would climb those stairs, and I climb those stairs, and I climb those stairs, and I would get all the way up to the top, and bam, I'd have those flights of stairs. And I'm telling you what, just climbing those sets of stairs twice a day, all the way up to that. I forget now if it was the eighth floor we were on, the sixth floor we were on. I don't know what it was. I think it was 18 sets of stairs. It must have been. I, I, my math's probably not that great. I think it was the sixth floor, 18 sets of stairs, right? Three sets per floor. I'm telling you what, that made all the difference in the world. All the deference. Ah, uh, uh, all right. Mr. Harmon asks, is this where all the hard work is done? In the bedroom? Yeah, well, I'd like to take credit for that, right? All the hard work is done in the bedroom. Uh, anyhow, okay. So you've got your Fitbit. You've set your goals. You're going to wear the Fitbit 24-7. You are going to put all of your food into the Fitbit. As you go, you're reading the red. You're reading the green. All of those things now are working for you. You know, this is why, and I'm just looking at some, I, I'm looking at comments if you ever see me down here. This is why, folks, when you go out to going fit, bit by bit, this is why you're going to see in our programs, because, hey, yeah, I actually started a company for this, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that company in a minute. But this is why, um, with the company at going fit, bit by bit.com, we're going to offer 100% uh, money back guarantee. Why are we going to offer 100% money back guarantee? Because it's going to be simple. If you follow our program, yeah, I want just this last little bit. I'm going to get rid of everything. Uh, if you follow our program, you're going to be able to lose the 20 pounds, 20 days, 20 bucks. No problem. You'll be able to lose the 45 pounds, 45 days, 45 bucks, money back guarantee. Why? Because if you follow our program, it's a done deal. You're going to get your Fitbit. You're going to follow our program, and it's going to happen. 
right? 45 days from now, you want to be 45 pounds lighter? You go sign up at goingfitbitbybit.com. It'll happen. No problem. We'll give you your money back. No problem. Uh, and we're going to be able to do that because I know that if you follow my program, it'll happen. It absolutely will happen. It, 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 it's a foregone conclusion. The Fitbit is going to measure your metabolic rate. You're going to put your food, whatever kind of food you want to eat, but we'll talk about food in just a minute. We're going to talk about um, the major components of food, and then I'm even going to get a little technical on you with the time I have left, and we're going to talk about BCAAs. So if you don't know what BCAAs are, you're going to learn about that in just a second. Uh, but we'll talk about BCAAs. Um, but uh, uh, you're going to put your food in, right? And then you're gonna, you will have chosen the 1,000 calorie deficit or the 500 calorie deficit, whatever the deficit is, right? And then that is gonna work for you. Oh, and by the way, uh, I think right now, it's a soft launch on the website. I think for right now with the soft launch on the website, uh, you may have noticed, uh, I don't think you can find the cart after you add the cart your thing. I'll fix that, I'll have that fixed by tonight. And that's why it's a soft launch, by the way. I consider this right now my friends and family. So thank you all very much, friends and family, for, for coming out and, and looking at me. And uh, if, you, if you look a little bit later today, you'll actually see uh, uh, that there will actually be a cart out there for you, uh, so you'll be able to actually check out um, um, uh, stuff. Uh, but please go and check out goingfitbitbybit.com. Oh, and please be my QA group. Tell me, hey, Bill, I think this is great about the site. Hey, Bill, why don't you focus on this on the site? Uh, hey, Bill, this part is broken on your website. Um, I would appreciate all of that feedback. You can send it to me uh, through Facebook. You can send it to me by email. You can call me. Uh, come over. Stop over and have a beer, please. Any, anything you'd like to do. Uh, I, would, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, but, yes, you can eat whatever food you want while you're doing that, and that's why it, it absolutely could be money-back guaranteed. But um, I will tell you, when I began the journey, I absolutely uh, decided to amp up my protein, but also amp up my fats. I absolutely amped up my fats. Um, and the reason for that was because I was having a calorie deficit. And of course, what are fats? Fats are satisfying, right? So as I had the calorie deficit and I'm eating more fats, uh, I wasn't nearly as hungry, okay? Um, and so that really helped me out quite a bit. Um, so, but let's talk about that. Let's talk about the three uh, main categories, right, of food: uh, fats, proteins, and carbs. Right. So th those are those are our three three foods. Um, I try to eat those um, primarily in equal amounts um, in terms of mass. Okay. So mass. Let's just talk grams. All right. Uh, you can talk ounces. You could talk calories, but let's talk uh, let's talk grams because that's even a little bit more difficult. Um, I try to eat if I'm eating uh, a meal. Uh, and in that meal, I'm having, uh, you know, 15 grams of fat. Then I'm going to look for 15 grams of protein and 15 grams of carb. Okay. So that's how I'm eating my meals. Um, I will talk to you on another meetup about, uh, meals throughout the day and how many meals a day. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about, you know, seven meals a day, six meals a day, four meals a day. Um, I have a lot to talk about there, about especially over a prolonged period of time. I've lost my 150 pounds over 18 months. Um, so there's a lot of different things that have occurred there. Um, and I'm happy to discuss all of that with you. Um, if you out to going uh, fit, bitbybit.com, and you sign up and, and you're on one of our programs with your new Fitbit, um, um, you will definitely talk about that, whether you're talking about it in an online meetup um, or whether you're talking about it through personal coaching. Um, <clears throat> we, will, we will absolutely discuss that. Um, but I promised you I'd talk to you a little bit about BCAAs before we're done here. We'll leave about six more minutes. So let me talk to you about that uh, because I, I find this fascinating. This is something that I've discovered recently. So uh, there are uh, approximately 20 amino acids. I think there are 20 amino acids uh, uh, in the world uh, that your body uh, uh, uses. Uh, your body uses. Uh, 11 of those amino acids, uh, your body synthesizes, meaning uh, your body can make 11 amino acids on its own. Uh, nine amino acids, your body must consume, uh, cannot make those nine amino acids. Three of those amino acids uh, were studied uh, in detail, and an academic paper was written and published in 2010 about these three amino acids. And they, uh, it's very interesting 
uh, academic paper. Uh, so much so, caught the attention of two communities, especially surgeons uh, and bodybuilders. Uh, and those three amino acids, I'm going to mangle their names. I'm doing this, by the way. I didn't even write down notes for this. I'm doing this by memory. Uh, I believe their names are, uh, of course, now I'm really going to mangle them. Uh, ISO, if anybody knows, they can type it out here. But they're uh, uh, val valcine, isovalcine, and uh, valcine, isovalcine, and, and one other. But anyway, there's three of them. You can Google it. Um, those three amino acids uh, were found uh, to greatly enhance muscle development, muscle and tissue development, okay? So much so that when you go and have surgery, uh, surgeons will actually prescribe people to eat uh, either foods high in those three amino acids or they'll prescribe supplements uh, for those three amino acids after surgery because it will uh, aid uh, in a rapid uh, recovery uh, of surgery um, if people are eating those. Uh, I, by the way, if you wondered, in losing 150 pounds over 18 months, I did not work out at all. I didn't go into a gym at all until three weeks ago. I joined 24-Hour uh, Fitness. Uh, there's a plug for you, 24-Hour Fitness. I joined three weeks ago. And about three weeks ago is when I discovered the BCAAs. They're called blockchain amino acids. And those are the three, uh, iso, uh, isovalcine, valcine, and I forget the name of the other one, uh, which we'll talk about later again. But um, I discovered those three. And um, when I uh, went to the gym, I would eat them before and I would eat them after going to the gym. And they made a huge difference. By the way, that bicep down on my website is mine. They made a huge difference um, actually in the gains that I've made already working out. Um, and I've not been sore a single day, not sore a single day because I've been eating those three amino acids. I don't recommend you use supplements for them. Uh, not at all. I'm not here selling supplements. I'm not recommending you supplements for them. And here, by the way, is uh, the, some of the foods that are highest in those three amino acids. Okay. And I'm going to cover some recipes on another online meetup another day. We only have three minutes left. Uh, so I'll be covering recipes. You'll find recipes out at goingfitbitbybit.com as well. Um, they're not out there yet. We just soft launched the website yesterday. Thank you so much, friends and family, for coming to this online meetup. Uh, the, uh, the foods highest in these uh, blockchain amino acids. Egg whites. So hard-boiled eggs. Eat them all the time, I get rid of the yolks. Eat them all the time, egg whites. Um, pistachios, pistachios and almonds, extremely high in blockchain amino acids. Uh, tuna fish, even over salmon. I find that fascinating, because salmon, of course, is very high in the uh, uh, omega uh, omega-3s, which are terrific uh, from a cardiovascular point of view, uh, but tuna is even higher in the blockchain amino acids. Um, so I eat a ton of tuna um, uh, for all those who aren't vegetarian. I eat a ton of tuna. Um, I still eat salmon, of course, but um, just in terms of these blockchain amino acids, tuna is terrific. Um, and then uh, there, are, there, are, there are other foods on down the line that are also uh, uh, relatively high, but especially egg whites, uh, egg whites, uh, pistachios, uh, almonds, uh, tuna, and to some extent, uh, of course, salmon, uh, all very high in these blockchain amino acids. So if any of you are lifting weights at all and you're going out to the gym, I challenge you, go ahead and try and eat, oh, I don't know, six or eight egg whites before you go work out. And when you're done working out, go have four or six egg whites and a can of tuna afterwards. And I guarantee you, you're going to see different results than you would have seen before. And if any of you have children out there or you yourselves are Division One athletes and you're trying to make big gains, do it. And I guarantee you, you're going to see better results. Uh, no doubt about it. Um, so that was pretty much, we have one minute left, our first online meetup for today. Listen, we have two days till Christmas. Everybody who's here is eligible to win one of two Fitbits that are coming from Fitbit themselves. I've been in contact with the director of marketing from Fitbit. I sent the hashtag, my reason is, 
video to uh, not, uh, not video I said the the uh, hashtag my reason is uh, uh, script actually uh, they do have the video now uh, to Fitbit uh, the director of marketing got back to me right away uh, they said that they uh, had uh, sent it around the office I really appreciated that um, they asked me to get in touch with the New York City local media um, if I was having difficulty with that they said they would send me contacts I really appreciated that um, so I'm going to spend the next 30 days contacting local media about my story. Uh, my story. Uh, in the meantime, I told them that I am working on a book, going fit bit by bit .com, and I, I told them I'm starting a company, this going fit bit by bit .com. and they said terrific. Let us know if there's anything we can do. Um, and then they said, oh, by the way, okay, if you're giving away Fitbits um, for these online meetups, we'll send you some. I said terrific. Send them to me. They said, great. What happened to you after the first of the year? I said, terrific. So everybody who's here who came to this online meetup, you are eligible to win uh, one of those Fitbits. Uh, what I'm going to do is every time you come to a meetup, if you go and register online, you have to register at my website, goingfitbitbybit.com. Go out there and register at the website. When you register at the website, I get an email that says you've registered. As long as you've registered at that website, you're gonna go into a pool of people, right? From that pool of people, I will be selecting randomly uh, two people uh, for these first two Fitbits uh, from every one of these online meetups that I have over these next two weeks, okay? And uh, the more of the more of these uh, Fitbits that I'm receiving, the more of the online meetups, the more people that come, the more Fitbits we'll be giving away. Um, I hope I can give away a ton of Fitbits. Um, and I look forward to everybody uh, coming out and getting fitter. Ah, one last thing I want to note. This company I set up as a public, uh, a public beneficiary corporation. Uh, I'm very serious about this uh, as I get started. Uh, of course, I want to make money, uh, but it's way more than that. It's way more important to me than that. Um, this is about helping uh, truly everybody. Uh, we have a very serious problem when it comes to obesity in this country. Uh, it's very serious when it comes to adults and especially when it comes to children. So we have a responsibility. Let's get out there. Let's do whatever we can. Uh, Fitbit is a, is, it's, a, it's a wonderful way to get started. So if there's anything I can do to help any of you, uh, please let me know. I, I feel like I'm doing a little bit of my part. Please get out there to the website. If you've got a pound to lose, Sign up for a program. I, I got to work out my whole shopping cart thing. I don't even think you can complete the sign up right now, but I'll have that figured out by the end of the day. So get out there, sign up for a program. I'll help you out. I'll do anything I can to help you out. And uh, gosh, just have a terrific Christmas weekend and God bless you all. I hope, hope everything goes great. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. All right. And have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'll be having another online meetup within days. All right. So uh, everybody have a great evening. I love you. Bye-bye.